Hunter is deeply involved in China. Everyone knows that now. Uh, CNN told us so. It's authenticated now. Well, uh, TikTok is also involved in China. And uh, Ben, doesn't matter how much I protest, I have friends, family members. Hey, check out this TikTok video. Hey, look at my new TikTok video. Americans do not understand how truly poisonous this thing is with its ties to China. Colin, would you please tell them? Because I can't tell them anymore. Well, Jesse, you're, you're exactly right. As a parent of two teenagers, it's almost impossible to get people off TikTok right now. And that's really the problem because there's there's two major issues with TikTok. First of all, it's sending every scrap of data you possibly create to communist China to be used for purposes we don't quite know. Uh, every time they've, cli they've claimed that they don't send data to China, it's been proven to be a lie, including by whistleblowers inside the company. So, you know, you might as well be sending your entire life to communist China if you're using TikTok. Secondly, the algorithms are controlled by China, and they're using those algorithms to push poison into, you know, our kids' screens. They're using, the, uh, using these algorithms to push dangerous trends and fads and, and crime, basically, on teenagers. Matter of fact, there's one lawsuit against TikTok right now claiming that they push violent and crime-based videos on black and other minority kids more than white kids, which, you know, we would never allow an American company to do that, but we let the communist, communist Chinese do it with no trouble, apparently. Curtis, why do we allow this? Are we allow these people to lobby? We, don't we? I mean, you highlighted a piece, Washington Examiner. We allow these people to lobby here. Yeah, it's it's the swamp at its worst. You know, that piece by Jerry Dunleavy of the Washington Examiner you have on screen there, it shows how there are senators, members of Congress, uh, you know, both parties, uh, staffers from Kevin McCarthy's office, Nancy Pelosi's office, you name it, people from the left and the right, supposed conservatives, supposed liberals, all selling out America in favor of communist China. Even a conservative CNN political commentator, is he, he's paid to lobby for this, and people receive all this money, and it's a complete shame. And it's a great example of how they're not putting America first, and that's why Trump's mantra and you know slogan has had such great success because we've seen how Washington doesn't put America first and they're putting our biggest enemy first instead. Curtis, Colin, thank you boys, appreciate it. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.